Okay, so one more kind of validation check from the design view. Date of birth. We're going to add two actually on this one. So here is required. So this is the presence check. You can just swap that to yes. This means that the person has to type in a date of birth. If it doesn't, it will complain. The other one, so we're doing date of birth. Sensibly, date of birth must be in the past. So one way you can do that is using this, the less than, and then now. And so this says, is the thing that's entered a date that's less than, in other words, before, now? So the date must be in the past. Okay, so we'll save it, and close it. And for example, Jim Smith, date of birth 23rd of 1st, 1999. If we get rid of his date of birth, good, we must enter a value because of the presence check, because it's a required field. And if we try one in the future, so the, today's the 16th of February, so the 23rd of the 1st, let's go with 2050. So it doesn't matter when you're watching this video. Date must be in the past. So yeah, you can choose a date in the past, no problem. So for example, so the 16th of the 2nd, 2019 is today, that's fine. If you change it to the 17th of the 2nd, 2019, it complains because it's not in the past. So that's a presence check and a range check.